is Pick for Life, and in today's P4L review, we'll be taking a look at the newest release from Iron Factory Toys. Um, this is part of their Legend Scale line. This is their IFEX28 Burning Slug, or their version of a Legend Scale Warpath. So, um, real quick disclaimer, I do get these toys uh, for free, or I guess in compensation for doing their official video manuals for uh, Iron Factory's uh, official channel on YouTube. But I like to put that disclaimer out there as always, just to keep it transparent and honest. So packaging review, you get this nice tiny little box of Burning Slug. I think Slug is kind of a reference to Metal Slug, if you don't know that game. Um, but yeah, nice little box, window, some product images here, some colored images there with some nice dark brick red. Some information about where it was made and so forth. Not for children zero to three. Any other age is fine. And then on the back here, we get the QR code for Iron Factory, as well as some product images of him with his guns and his accessories and his alt mode. Okay, so opening him up, he comes in a plastic clamshell with some instructions and well with some accessories. So let's get this open. Instructions are pretty good. They're pretty short, one-sided, fold-out sheet. Uh, you really don't need to see these, but you can see his alt mode there. Opening this up, you really get um, two main accessories with the main bot itself. So let's see, let's get this out of the way. You get his cannon, and these two sets of cannons that, uh, blasters or shoulder rockets, whatever you want to call it, that do do double duty for other things. The gun actually does it as well. Um, so for the first thing we can do, we can go ahead and plug these into the back here. Like that, and his backpack can move up and down if you want to do that. It's really for transformation, but you can have him kind of angling these up if you'd like. They could also attach on his arms if you want to do that. And I don't know if the pegs are long enough. Yeah, you won't be able to do it as a actual um, hand cannon itself. But you get the idea. You have some options. If you want, you can stick one on this butt. Don't know why you would, but you can. His blaster, which I think is kind of weird that he has a blaster given he has a big blaster out of his chest. So it's funny when they do that. It, it does have a handle. Then you plug in here, so you get some pew pew, or you can kind of go Megatron wannabe and plug it into his forearm like that. Maybe we'll get a remold, or you can stick it on his butt again. <laughs> again, I don't know why you would, but let's just say you do. Um, really quick, uh, scale wise, I only have a couple figures readily available here. He is with their uh, Vortex from their Iron Giant line but he's in scale with the rest of them uh, let's go ahead and do a quick articulation and so forth uh, he does have a little ball jointed head the head itself is really nice pretty nice sculpt see there nice bluish eyes Nice silver paint details, some black in here, silver all around, and on the treads and such and so forth. Pretty simple, very minimal in terms of paint apps. Uh, so where where else was I talking? Uh, his pet head panel is on his head is on a panel, so you get a little bit of articulation from that, but not really. His shoulders are on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, all the way around, up, down. Oh, it's on a hinge as well as that ball pit, uh, ball joint. Bicep swivel, elbow joint. He has a little bit of wrist play here, really for transformation. No swivel though. No ab crunch, unfortunately. Um, although, it, uh, depending on how you do it, I guess you could kind of unpeg this and get a little bit of ab crunch, but they're not really supposed to do that. So let's just ignore what I just said for the last 10 seconds. Waist swivel. His legs can go up. His butt pack can move out of the way so he can go back. Tab that back in. He goes out 90 degrees. He has a, a ball jointed hip. So his hips 
do give you some play here, but he also has a, a upper thigh swivel as well as a knee swivel. So you can get all sorts of weird poses out of him. His knee bend is about 90 degrees. You might be able to squeeze in a little bit more, but not much more. He has this little ankle cover piece here, and his foot is on a swivel there, and it has actually an ankle tilt, so that's nice. If you want some extra heel support, you can bring this down, but really, he has pretty big feet as they are, so I don't think you'll need that. So yeah, that's really it for robot mode. Nice little figure, nice and beefy little warpath. To transform him into alt mode, which is a tank, as you might imagine, let's bring these out. Um, the first thing we'll do is actually tap them together. We're gonna use this in a bit. All right, the first thing we'll do is deal with uh, the head. So let's just flip this back panel up, pull this cannon out all the way. That gives you some room here. You can see how it filled in that space. You're gonna pull that all the way out, like kind of like the um, chug warpath that we got a while ago. You're gonna fold this entire backpack, not just this flap, the entire backpack up like that. Now we'll deal with the arms. The arms will flip up like so. You're gonna pull down on the arm panel. You're gonna to wanna to flip this piece out, just use a little bit of push there. Rotate the fist in and you'll see a little tab here. The tab will actually pour it in here. So when you close this up, if you have it aligned correctly, you should be able to close it up like that so it's nice and sealed clean. And rotate the arm at the bicep 180 degrees. Same thing on this side, pretty simple. The trickiest part is just getting that tab in since it's kind of like a blind peg and just, and the tolerances aren't so loose, they're actually pretty tight. So it's kind of hard to get it in sometimes. There we go. Arms up and around like that. Let's just untab this for now because you're gonna need that to loosen up this entire upper joint. But before we do that, pull forward on the hip skirt. It'll untab like so. And that'll give you some um, ability to move the hips. So the hips, it's kind of weird. You're gonna wanna move that ball joint at the hip so that this slotted piece is facing forward. So 90 degrees kind of turned forward. You want to turn 180 degrees, so you see the mushroom peg here. Bend at the knee, and then swivel at that lower knee joint. All right, back here, flip out that heel piece that we looked at a little bit earlier. Straighten this back in like so. Cover that up like that. And there, there's the one half. Same thing on the other side here. So again, want this slot facing this way. You want the mushroom peg showing. Bend at the knee. Swivel at the knee, get this heel out, which tabs in right there. Straighten out the toe or the treads, whatever you want to call it. Fold this down, and there we go. Before we keep going, this little piece. Remember I said it pulled double duty? Untab that, flip these flaps out, fold the hand, handle in like that, and flip it open so it's kind of like a wag 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 wag. You see this slot here, this tab here. You're gonna have to match those like that. And you're gonna bring this down and you'll see that these little tabs here will align with the shins. Or the front tread covers, whatever you wanna call it, the front of the, the tank. This back piece will fold down and you wanna get it perfectly aligned because right here, there's a little slot. Not even a slot, it's like a opening and you want to push that in um you, know, you don't have to be perfect with it but you can actually get it perfectly aligned so it sits like that and let's just clean that back up all right there we go now we'll deal with the upper body so going up like this you're probably like hey what about this piece and so on double hinge you bring that up you're going to tab this in upside down so you have the little cannon piece Facing backwards. Oh, uh, can you face it in the other way? Oh, you can too, so if you want a, a bigger one. I don't know which one I like better. 
doesn't make a difference, but well, let's just go with the official way, which is, I think that, no, I actually like this piece better, this way better. I think it fills in a little bit more. Yeah, well, we're gonna go with that. Instructions be damned. So with these pieces, they're now going to collapse in on themselves like this. So you're going to get that shoulder all the way on the outside and collapse this in like that. Same thing on this side. All right. This piece can play double duty in a different, in two different ways actually. So first we're going to peg these in like so. And you saw that there were grooves here. Those tab in like that to get everything aligned. And you can bring this forward. And you might be saying to yourself, oh, we're done. Nope, we're not done yet. They went the extra mile and did some other stuff. So you're gonna flip this piece down, make it kind of into an L shape at this pin right here, and then close it up and that tabs in. You can see that slot right there. And we'll do the same on the other side. You know, whichever way you can do to get it in that slot, it really doesn't matter. Then you must, you're probably saying, Henry, that must be it. Nope, that's still not it. These little pieces where you were like, hey, what are those tabs for? Well, that's what they're for. They go into these slots here, like so. And come on. And like so. And now we're done. We're transformed into Burning Slugs Alt Mode. This a nice little alt mode. Um, I was worried about the hip skirt piece just hanging out and then I saw that this makes use of that. So it looks pretty good. It's a little thinner on the back. Not a big deal though. It does have articulation. Again, with this double hinge here, you can move forward or back all the way around. Kind of has a metal slug look if you have it extended like this, for sure. Uh, no other articulation. This There's no wheels or anything like that on the treads. Uh, I didn't strain this out all the way. Uh, the only other thing that I could see that you can do is this piece, you can unpeg it, these pieces and these holes that we had in the back, you can go ahead and split that and peg these in for some extra artillery as opposed to um, gap fillers, I suppose. Yeah. So that's it for his alt mode. Let's get him transformed back and finish off the review. Let's take these out. We'll leave them off to the side. Um, I guess theoretically we could just keep them here through transformation. Let's do that. I never tried that before. Let's just keep them in here through tra throughout transformation. Let's lift this up. Get this piece off the back. Let's spread this piece. Actually, let's fold these down first. Fold these down. Get these panels around and tabbed in to the side here. And release this gun piece, right? So we're gonna push out the handle, close this up, fold the flaps down, and get this little peg thing in. And you want this side piece up or the tab piece down, whichever, however you think of it. Half glass full, half glass empty. What <laughs> did I just say? Glass half full, glass half empty. Anyway, it's late. Uh, let's deal with the, let's get the arms out of the way first. Let's extend these and get them out of the way and then we'll deal with the rest of it in a bit. Let's just scoot this back for now. Dealing with the legs, flip this up, flip this up, flip the toes down, close up the heel. Same thing on this side. this up a bit and now we're gonna go backwards on that weird leg transformation so rotate the, the knee out here straighten the knee rotate 180 degrees at that upper thigh swivel and then rotate 90 degrees at that ball joint and then bring the leg down same thing and then you can tab this in here and if your butt flap came undone you can go ahead and tap that in don't know why they felt the need to have a tab there, but whatever. So once you get this back up like that, um, because of these pieces, they might get in, oh no, that's okay. So let's just bring the ball joint around, 
like so. And these tabs, these tabs go into the sides to lock in the upper body. Rotate the biceps around or the forearms around. Remember to pull out on this tab. You gotta pull it out to release that tab. Close this up, flip this around, close that up, and repeat on this side. Wash and repeat. I'll wash, rinse, and repeat. I am not getting any of these lines correct today. And then lastly, go ahead and push this down for the head reveal. Close up the panel. And if you want, you can leave this out if he's excited or if it's cold, reduce that to its normal size. There we go. And there we have Burning Slug back in his robot mode. So final thoughts, it's a fun little figure. Uh, the Legend of Scale is one of those scales that uh, I never intended to collect, uh, but obviously it's not doing work for Iron Factory. They've been growing on me and I actually checked out some of the other Legend of Scale stuff that um, the headmasters that, is it DX9? I think DX9 is doing. Um, the Magic Square stuff that has been shown, that looks really good. So uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous hobby. I don't want to get into collecting the Legend scale. But with fun stuff like this, again, it's not a G1 design. I guess it's a little bit closer to IDW. Um, they're fun little figures to just play around on your desk and, you know, not have to worry about, you know, having to be too gentle with them or anything like that. And I like this Warpath, he's pretty bulky. But yeah, that's really it for the review. Um, if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, if you like the instructions, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And as always, if you want to pick this up, uh, pick this up from my sponsor, Toy Dojo. They are always great, and you can click on the link in the description below to pick it up from them. Okay? Uh, and this should be out shortly if it hasn't already been released by the time this video is out. But that's all for today, everyone. Hopefully you liked the review. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.